don't know. Um, probably should have cleaned up my bed before doing this, but it is what it is. But today, we're actually going to go find all the parts to fix it. Whoa, man, that's horrible. Granted, this is the only rust on the truck, but that is pretty bad. So, we are about to, actually, my wife is about to take her first ride in the truck. But we're going to go see what parts we can scrimmage up for this little guy to get rid of all these little issues. And then, most importantly, the hood is probably one of the worst ones. But, it is time to go over to the mechanic's shop, or, well, the shop, then his house, and check on, see what all we can get for this bad boy today. There she is. She looks so ecstatic right now to ride in the old truck. Whenever she has her nice little fancy Jeep over here and the old beater. Hey buddy, you're ready to go though, right? He likes the truck, he just goes to sleep every time. Yeah, right buddy. Just before getting the parts, go ahead and show you what all is jacked up on this thing. This tailgate in general is pretty rough. I mean, look at the, look at the dents in this thing. Then, that is looking a little rough. I've got to get rid of that thing. That, that'll be gone by next video. <laughs> then I do need to buy a new wheel wheel for it. Cut that out, put in a new one. But probably go ahead and do both. These are actually 100% solid. No worries here on this. It's just where the guy uh, cut them out, replaced them with good ones. But he just rattle canned it and that's why it looks red. And back door is actually pretty solid. It is a little loose, but other than that, no big ordeals. This one, you've got all your holes, issues. But other than that, it's really not that bad. Then this is the only issue with this one. I might try to salvage this, this panel here. Then the hood is absolutely messed up. Coming on over here. This one has your rust right here. I don't know how deep it is. I haven't tried to fiddle with it. Actually, it doesn't look too good right there, though, does it? <laughs> And then this door has from they both have the holes from where they originally had the big toe mirrors on there. And then let's see here. Pretty sure this back door is pretty solid. Pretty solid. Yep, no major issues. So the parts that we are looking for is doors, fenders, hood, tailgate. And correct me if you think I'm wrong though, but I believe we can salvage that little piece there. And eventually a new bumper. Because I like, well, why worry this much about this piece of plastic? I don't, I don't even get. But anyways, let's go find those new parts. Here we go. Finally at the shop. But we gotta check on this bad boy. Still waiting to st steering column. That's what we're waiting on. They're waiting on one of the joints or something for it. The company actually has the column, but they're just waiting on the connection piece. Man, looking a little rough back there. Good old bungee cord. But this should be here this coming week to where we can go ahead and get this guy up and going. And yeah, that looks kind of new. But yep, this is what I actually want to drive and we are on the verge of it, but I'm still waiting one major piece. Here we go, we are back in the house finally to actually go get that stuff. Uh, I almost did my four-wheel drive conversion before even getting the parts. But here's a little quick glimpse of the parts, but we have run into another issue. We have to jump downstairs for that issue though. <laughs> it is a very cool issue to have. We finally made our home gym, but holy crap, this is where the parts are supposed to go. Wait, there's a lot of motivation right there. Anyways, this is where all the parts are supposed to go. And as you can see, uh, trash pile, goodwill pile, there's just freaking everything down here right now. There's my wife's shaker cup I bought her to start working out and yeah, it's still not even made it upstairs. So, oh, and if nobody knew, uh, we've got the off-roading doors now ready for the Jeep. And God, it's just, man, if y'all remember last video when we was fitting 37s on the Jeep, all of this was perfectly clean, but now due to that right there, uh, yep, nope, we got some work to do real quick. So we'll, I'll go ahead and clean this up real quick and jump right into it. There we go, guys. It is not perfect. Obviously, I still need to get rid of some of this stuff here but it is at least presentable and i now have room to actually set everything down over here against the wall the really good part about this right now is i'm going to go get the truck 
started up hasn't been started in over a day it has been fairly cool as you can tell by this shirt it's a little on the chilly side here so we will get a nice little cold start from the truck unlike last time last time i started i had just been running it running it 10 minutes before that so we're about to do a cold start and yes for everyone that says yes it blue white smoke yes it does it every time i start it i already know it does that but it is fine so we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the cold start and then uh well there you go guys i'm busted there, there it is I just moved all the crap outside. Yep. <laughs> Typical guy. <laughs> There we go, there are the new body parts and whew, makes me realize that my dad bod's not working out too well for me anymore. So here's the tailgate. I'm not sure if this guy will end up on there. Just remember all these parts came with the truck and there's actually a couple more, but they need to be unbolted. And I had the little guy with me, so didn't take the time, but just some surface rust. So gonna go ahead and sand this one down and I'm gonna see what I can do with some body work. And then probably have to have a professional actually redo it all. But hey, I wanna learn. Then the doors, actually, I like that these have the newer mirrors. I actually really, really like that. Uh, a little bit more modern look. Doesn't have all your holes through here. Obviously, the paint's a little messed up, but that's not the color of my truck, so I've got to paint it anyway, so that's no big ordeal. Almost looks like that one did have the big one, but not sure what happened there. Huh. So chrome, not chrome, off the same truck. Hmm. And something I will have to change is these right here on these doors, which the ones in my doors right now are perfect, but the little latch has been removed and rusted off. And that's on both windows, so just take out this little rivet here, I believe. And then after that, it should be nice and easy to pop off. Never tried it, so that is just the assumption. But here we go, here is the beautiful part. Yes, it's white. No, it doesn't match the truck, but the whole truck's obviously going to be repainted, but this thing is in amazing condition. No dents or anything. Paint looks a little rough, but once again, I can work on sanding and everything, figure out that aspect of body work. Uh, I did on my 1972, didn't turn out the best, but it's also a first attempt, but simply just repainting on this one. Oh, and even on this little guy here, I picked this hood because the latch and everything was still in perfect condition. Absolutely zero rust on this bad boy. All right, guys, uh, just with this new gym and everything, uh, I'm a big fan of Dirty Max Jack. I watch a lot of his content, and he's been doing that whole gallon challenge thing. Here you go, Dirty Max Jack. I doubt you watch my videos. I know we've talked before, but uh, you're as busy as me, and I don't to even really watch that much YouTube anymore. But it's only 11.30, and we're already down uh, about half a gallon there, Dirty Max Jack. But uh, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. We have some big plans for this truck and everything. Uh, this whole little setup here did kind of uh, hit the budget a little bit on uh, Power Choke 1 and Power Choke. I'm gonna call, I think I'm gonna call this one Power Choke 2.0. Uh, give me some ideas what you all think we should name this 97. Uh, and for all you guys that stay to the end, uh, I always uh, try to give a little hints or little things that's going on. But uh, the full drive conversion will be done the weekend after Halloween. Uh, then uh, the one leak that is left, only one leak, it is the rock mount of the turbo pedestal. So uh, probably as soon as I'm done with this video, while I'm editing, I'll probably just go ahead and go order that part. It's like 230 bucks or something. And then I will have a leak three, 7.3 liter. And then with all these parts and everything, what do you all think? Go ahead and have it looking really, uh, uh, Let me go ahead and redo that part. But uh, go ahead and have it looking really, really bad for a little bit. Go ahead and put on all the new parts. Start sanding it down myself and everything. Get it ready for an actual professional to paint it. Not me this time. I'm not doing it. Because this truck, uh, my wife and I already have the plans for this truck unless someone does buy it. But uh, it's going to be hard for me to let go because I've really started to love the truck. But anyways, guys, the full drive conversion in about a, two weeks now. 
Two weeks from now, it'll be four-wheel drive conversion, crew cab, short bed, five-speed, uh, vinyl flooring, cloth seats, uh, pretty rare truck. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Stop by for the first time. Please subscribe. You'll have a great day.